Thousands of years ago, the Earth was devastated by a battle between the gods. It was a war between good and evil. A war that would decide the fate of the world and plunge it into centuries of darkness. Now, the war is in danger of being fought once again. Only one mortal can stop it.
have an urgent situation that demands your attention. What's the problem, Gemini? We have a breakout at the Special Forces Maximum Security Facility. A group of highly dangerous superhuman criminals has escaped the compound and are at large. The list of escaped prisoners is as follows. No Face, Tazia, Jarek, and Tremor. They apparently are hiding out in an abandoned warehouse on the south side of town. There's something else you should know. The prisoners received help from an outside source. It has to be Kano. You guessed it. Gemini, tell operations ETA 60 seconds to the warehouse. Inform Lieutenant Sanchez not to infiltrate the warehouse until my arrival. Affirmative. Oh, oh wait, hold up, Jax. I have a transmission coming in from Lieutenant Sanchez. I'll patch it through. Jax, we have just arrived at the location and we are awaiting your orders. Wait a minute. What the? It's a trap! Let's get the... Kano, you're gonna pay for this. Mortal Kombat has always been, and always will be. For millennia, the forces of good and evil have been locked in eternal battle over the control of Earthrealm. Some seek to use the tournament to destroy all that is good. Others seek vengeance power, or eternal life. Time after time, each individual threat has been vanquished, and Earthrealm has enjoyed relative peace for many years. But there is concern that Earth is once again in peril. And this time, the threat of evil has two faces. It is now known that the sorcerer Quan Chi has escaped from the Nether Realm. Since his escape, Quan Chi has unlocked the secret of the ancient runestone, discovered the ancient undefeatable army of the long forgotten Dragon King, and most disturbing of all, formed an alliance with one of our deadliest enemies, Shang Tsung. With their combined strength, they plotted to overpower the only two beings who could prevent their total domination of the two realms. The first was the Emperor of Outworld, Shao Kahn. In a false show of allegiance, they sprung their attack. They then traveled to Earthrealm by way of a mystical portal known only the sorcerers and deities. There, they confronted Earth's mightiest warrior and champion of mortal combat, Liu Kang. It has been Shang Tsung's desire to consume the soul of Earthrealm's greatest warrior. With Quan Chi's assistance, he achieved this goal. Liu Kang is dead. They have since returned to Outworld and are using the souls of conquered warriors to resurrect the Dragon King's undefeatable army. Should they succeed, they will have the means to conquer Outworld and eventually Earthrealm. They will be unstoppable. I can no longer stand idly by and watch this evil consume the world. I have relinquished my status as Elder God to return to Earth and lead you all to battle against our old adversaries. We must act now. We must stop this deadly alliance.
It was not by chance that this struggle came to be. The blame falls squarely upon my shoulders for giving evil the chance it needed, and therefore fulfilling an ancient prophecy. Raiden's Earthrealm champions had failed to stop the Deadly Alliance from fully resurrecting the mummified army of the Dragon King. In the end, only Raiden himself stood between Earthrealm and total destruction. Defying the Elder God's wishes, he alone challenged Quan Chi and Shang Tsung in mortal combat, Earthrealm's last hope for freedom. fought well against the two sorcerers, and it seemed as though victory was at hand. But the combined might of Quan Chi and Shang Tsung proved to be overwhelming, even for a thunder god. Raiden was defeated. The Deadly Alliance had won. Their victory was short-lived. As suspicion and lust for power overcame both Quan Chi and Shang Tsung, the former allies turned on each other. The deadly alliance was no more. defeated Shang Tsung and reveled in his conquest. But it is said that there is only one true ruler of Outworld. And that ruler had returned. Filled. The Dragon King had indeed returned to Outworld to reclaim his army and impose his dominance. Death awaited all who stood in his way. was formed out of desperation. Sworn enemies join forces to combat a greater threat. Raiden began to realize that even their combined might was not enough to defeat the Dragon King. There's only one chance left. Raiden's sacrifice was in vain, for the blast had little effect on the Dragon King. Now Onaga has what he needs to shape the realms as he sees fit. I was the fool who brought him this power. Only I can destroy this threat, born of deception.
A battle raged at the end of the first tournament. The forces of Earthrealm were facing their greatest challenge. Mortal Kombat! There have been many powerful warriors throughout the millennia. But ages of mortal combat have begun to tear the fabric of the realms. The critical point has finally been reached. It was foreseen that combatants would one day grow too powerful and too numerous. If left unchecked, their intensifying combat would weaken and shatter the realms and bring about the apocalypse. Yeah! <laughs> 
The elder gods demanded a safeguard be put in place to avoid total destruction. One that would make use of the combatant's insatiable bloodlust. Like moths to flame, they would be drawn to battle. are in constant flux. They shift and change like an endless dream. Shao Kahn's defeat should have marked our victory against a threatened merge of Earthrealm and Outworld. Instead, it heralded a new struggle for independence. Shinnok will be displeased by your inability to take Earthrealm. Hold your tongue, sorcerer! Raiden! Your invasion of Earthrealm violated the rules of mortal combat, Shao Kahn. Your Tarkatan Horde has been routed by the forces of light. Even now, your allies desert you. Quan Chi! Traitor! Earthrealm will never succumb to the forces of darkness, Quan Chi. Now you will face the judgment of the Elder Gods. Metropolis, a shining example of human achievement. This is where we made our final stand against Darkseid and his army of parademons, born in the fire pits of a distant world called Apocalypse. But what seemed like victory was only the beginning.
It's over, Darkseid. Don't be so sure, Kryptonian. Took you long enough. Luther. You threatened the safety of Earth for your own personal gain. You allied yourself with Darkseid. I was only trying to ensure humanity's survival in the event that you and the other so-called heroes failed. Darkseid's activated another dimensional boom tube. He's going to escape. This isn't over, Superman. Don't be so sure. Insolent fool! You're destabilizing the boom tool! you didn't kill us. Save it, Luther. You're going to jail, but this time you'll be someplace much more secure than Stryker's Island. What? Don't worry. I'll make sure your cell has a nice view of Earth. the Elder Gods, Raiden. <laughs> Their pathetic mortal combat shackles me no longer. Dragons, but are mere toothless worms. My venom spreads. It is the end of all things. Armageddon. Stop! It is done. Your time has passed. He must win.
Millions of years ago, Shinnok, one of the Elder Gods, turned on his fellow deities and invaded the Earth Realm. Raiden and the Elder Gods stopped Shinnok, locked him up in the Nether Realm. Others followed in Shinnok's footsteps, like Outworld's Emperor Shao Kahn, who was obsessed with conquering Earthrealm. So Raiden convinced the Elder Gods to enact the Mortal Kombat tournament as a way to even the odds, give Earthrealm a chance. For generations, Shao Kahn followed the Elder Gods' rules. The war moved to the arena, where he sent his toughest fighters to challenge Raiden's greatest defenders in Mortal Kombat. Two years ago, we beat him. But Shao Kahn wasn't ready to lose. He violated the rules of Mortal Kombat and invaded Earthrealm. Most of Earth's defenders, our friends, were killed turned into evil undead warriors. Despite the odds, we stopped Shao Kahn's invasion. As punishment, the Elder Gods destroyed him. We thought the long nightmare was over, but it turns out that Shinnok had been manipulating events. Shao Kahn's invasion, his death. All part of Shinnok's plan to escape the Nether Realm and resume his war on the Elder Gods. deny the truth I was cast out for speaking the truth I embrace Shinnok is that mercy is wasted on those who defile Earthrealm I will destroy our enemies before they destroy us starting with you <laughs> worse than death.
deliver you to Liu Kang and your Netherrealm minions. You will serve as warning and an emblem of my wrath. Once again, the Thunder God has upset the balance of history. But know this. The arc of the universe bends to my will. It is only a matter of time. Finish it. 